OK, so really we need to understand what we mean by direct and inverse proportion before we move any further. Because quite a number of problems uh, to do with differential equations when setting up the differential equation itself relies on you knowing this. So if we say that A and B are directly proportional, then we use this symbol here to mean uh, proportional to, OK? Now, A is proportional to B. This is direct proportion. So as A gets larger, B gets larger. OK, that's what it means. So what we can then say is that if A is proportional to B, then A is going to be equal to some multiple of B. OK? And that will enable us uh, to figure out uh, how they are connected. OK? So part of the problem that we may then be able to, we might then face is working out that value of K. If two things are inversely proportional, so let's say A and B are now inversely proportional, then we say that A is proportional to 1 over B. OK? So what this means is that as A gets larger, B will get smaller, and vice versa. OK? So if this is the case, then we can say that A is some multiple of 1 over B. And the problem might, therefore, uh, require us to figure out that value of k for that problem. So if we think of how a differential equation might come into this, then we might say, let's say that there is a population P. So it could be, um, I don't know, a population of rats, for example. Uh, or some other animal, it doesn't really matter. And the rate of their growth is proportional to the current size of the population. So let me say that again. The rate of growth of the population is proportional to the size of the population. OK, so what I would be saying is, if I'm talking about the rate of growth of the population, then I would be talking about dp by dt, OK? The rate of change of the population. And I'm saying that that is proportional to the population, OK? Now, that is going from my worded problem to an algebraic one, but it's still not a differential equation because there's no equal sign there. Okay, this is an equal sign. So we know that if I write that, like this a is proportional to b up here, then really what I'm saying is that dp by dt is equal to some multiple of p. And this is the differential equation that is required. So the rate of growth of the population is proportional to the current size of the population. OK? So I w if I was able to solve that differential equation, I would be able to work out uh, some equation for P. OK? That's where we're going with this. So well, what I want to look at next, um, and obviously I could have changed that problem to look at inversely proportional as well. OK, where I could have had k over p. Um, what I want to look at next is look at some word problems and then changing those into differential equations. So that's coming up in the next video.